It's only March, man. Come on, no, man. Uh, I know, dude, 2019 I know. just started. I know. It's going to be over before we know it, man. But speaking of over before we know it, got out of that set real quick. We're going back to the run back. Jen versus Venya. So these guys, both very confident players. Uh, I know if you can ask both, you've heard Jen's word. He feels he's got New York number, and Venya himself feels he's one of, if not the best player in New York. So we'll see how this matchup plays out right now. Catches him with 61% off the bat, and the SD. That's, right. You don't want to see that happen, because that's mm -hmm. you're technically giving a zero death to Jen right there, because he had a lot of control. And you're saying how he has a New York's number, because that's what Jen has said in that past interview. He's definitely got Venya's number right now. Mm-hmm. Get see if you try to bring it back. Now, here's the thing, though. Venya, uh, he's quite, I think, the emotive player when he really gets tilted. Like, right now, you saw him. He said, okay, he nodded, he took it. He's yeah. ready to come back. It's nothing to him. That, so that, that's a good composement. That's the Venya I like to see. Because there are some, some times where I've seen Venya SD, and you know he, like, rolls his eyes, reels back in his chair. That was, he, that was just a nod. He understood mm -hmm. that he cannot lose composure this early on in the set. Absolutely not. And that's honestly the sort of mentality that keeps you through not just Yo. not just through uh, grand final sets, but through tournaments, which is quite exhaustive. We've been here since, I think, 7 o'clock, 7.30? Yeah, five hours ago. Yep. Ooh, kills him off the top right there. And 74% is not that too bad to sit on, but we'll see how it goes off. Dash Help. stack, a great option for catching landings. Mm -hmm. Uh, recovers high, a bit risky over there, but calls out the commitment on Jen's part. Right, Jen's starting to move. Mm -hmm. See, now Jen's going for little hits of aggression here because I believe Venya's a bit too high to get Nair trained at this point, but he's still sitting on about Nair train percent. Mm. Trying to look for those glancing hits and play a little bit passively. Wrong direction for the auto reticle. That is a clean punish scenario. There's out. That was a good response from Jen, just going oh. to the neutral melee. Explosive flame gun and delete Venya's second stock. Yep, definitely a tool you have to watch out for. Um, not something that you see pulled out too much on stage, actually, but Jen makes that rare call, and it does hit its mark. All right. You're still moving here. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Yep, Venya definitely d is not one to stay still when he's in a position like this. He likes to keep himself moving. All right. Pushes him over, calls out the retreat, and the air dodge. Smart stuff, Venia. Right. Bring it back. Even though he SD'd immediately on, and that was technically a zero death, we're still, we are at a pretty even game with Venia actually taking the lead but in terms of percentage. Mm -hmm. Looking very good right now. All right. Opens him up with the dash attack. B that the was an accident. B. Yeah. You know he wanted to try to splash him mm -hmm. and mix it around. You don't see that happen too often from Venia, too. Yep. Still, doesn't lead to too much percent. Doesn't get hit with any crazy combos on that one. Only picks up 16. Although the disadvantage is where he's yeah. really starting to pay for that. That also looked like an accidental wall cling, and Jen just capitalized with a down tilt. All right. Tries to get him with the meaty down tilt, but doesn't quite get anything off of it. I like the fadeaway forward airs, trying to keep Jen at, at bay. 54% right. another Very back good. air. Back send air, low commitment. The reward tries to trump him, but just misses on the timing. That actually might have been stuck at that point. I think so, actually. Right. Follows Venya, recovers high, warp, very difficult to counter if you're not on stage ready for the punish. Uh, trying to hard, do a hard call out with that up smash. Venya just going for a quick punish instead, parrying the dash attack. Mm -hmm. Thought he was going to recover to the left, that's why he just threw out the explosive flame for free. Yep. All right. And Goes just chases over. after him. Playing a game attack. Oh, obviously. that is a very unsafe explosive flame. Yeah. Holding shield was the right call there, but if he hadn't, that would have been a full punish. Yeah, Venya just would have dashed in, would have been over. You could have charged forward smash, honestly, on reaction to that even. There All right. we go. All right, going a little bit more aggressive with the movement from Jen. Oh my gosh, Dash Attack will take it. And honestly, you saw Jen playing aggressive because Venny was playing an extreme keep away game near the end of that set mm -hmm. for that game. Yes. He, had, he had to like chase after his foe. He did. And even if you play a defensive character, uh, part of the mentality, the... Um, I guess meta game of playing a keep away, of playing a mid range. You got to get on me character. Is when you go aggressive. When you come in and Palatina has the movement speed to surprise people with that sort of stuff. Like, oh, you know, Nair normally low percent, so that's fine. Nair at 100, dash attack after you're playing back like this. So that's the way to keep it mixed up. Going over to game two. Well, speaking of keeping things mixed up, man, like the tournament results are a little mixed up last week with uh, because Jen wasn't here, we had a new winner. But now that Jen's back, it looks like he might just be the winner yet again. Is he our new like 
static champion here at Zeno, because there was a time when Venny was winning a lot, and there was a time when Sinji was winning a lot. So now is it is it Jen's time to shine? Well, if they go back and forth like that so much, can it be a static champion? Because I feel there is rarely a time where someone doesn't have to work to make the results. Either. Yeah. The competition is always fierce. Yeah, but Jen is playing extremely well. Has yet to drop a set since, like, like I said, since two weeks ago he has not dropped a set. Ooh! There we go. Venny is starting to make him work for it, though. Yep, he will drop to the stuffed animal to sneak by. There you go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Gotta, we got gotta drop a rhyme every now and then. Yeah, I feel it. Yeah. All right, here we go. Jen jumping right. up with a neutral air has him at 104%. Yep, and you'll see what, what I'm talking about there. Venny trying to space out a little bit because he doesn't want to aggress on Palutena too much. Palutena with the dash attack and the back air invincibility on shield. And then Jen takes advantage, runs in with the Nair to get him back off stage for that. All right, playing back once again, spacing out with Bear. Out, just trying to feel the range. Oh, reground, but does get the tech. All right. Ooh, drop shield. I'm not sure if he was trying to pair for that or if he was trying to roll. All right. Trying to play extremely from. patient, just goes for the dash attack instead. Goes for the shadow sneak, that will lose him the stage control for the moment, but get back. Ooh, my god, that hit really high. All right. All right. Taps him with the shuriken, lets him know he's not getting back for free. He's taking a little bit of percentage out of time. Dash attack killing with its angle. Yeah, I think it's starting to tilt Venny just a little bit. You know, the dash, I mean, it could be, it could be a struggle to get hit by uh, such a quick burst option that has like block frames on it, as well as the ability to kill at that little percent. So it, it, it can be frustrating, I understand. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And he's throwing out, ooh. There we go, down tilt to forward air. Mm -hmm. So we've had one kill through the back of the screen, and now we got one at the top of the screen. Yes, sir. We are dealing with a lot of broken glass. Devin, I'm sorry for all the property damage, but. It's all gone for. <laughs> there we go, Venya. Right. Yo, oh, chases it. Yeah, I mean, he was he was expecting like the rolls to. He was hoping for a roll to the left. Yo, runs right under the explosive flame. If you do manage to get over explosive frame, go right for Palutena. She is heavily punishable. On this. Just like that. There we go. So up smash. Try to go for the shadow sneak off stage to call him out. Ooh. Gets the spike as Jen calling calling out Venya hardcore with that recovery. As now, this could be a chance for Jen to take home this tournament. This, this has gone from, uh, man, Venny looks like he's got this, too. This is scary. Yeah. They've still got 100% off, but at low percents like this, Palutena can convert fairly well. Yeah, keep in mind, in this grand finals, it is a best two of three set because we have work in the morning, and we, we got to go home and sleep. Mm -hmm. yeah. Two of three, although if Jen does take this, he takes it. If Venya takes it, goes to game three, takes it again, we do get the bracket reset. There we go, Venya trying to poke that shield a bit. All right. Spacing out with Ferris right here. He's just trying to clip him and get that kill. Jen playing it very patient. He's got three and a half minutes to do it. Good job on the Nair. Too high of a percent to get anything off of it though. Still living. Yep. Venya falling super deep for that recovery. Yep. There's no need to hurry right now. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, Benny yep. just playing it safe, playing cautiously, waiting for Jen to commit to that first button because he has to. He technically has a strong percentage lead. Mm -hmm. And Venya's going to bring this to a game three situation. Like you said, if Venya takes on this next game, we have a reset bracket in a moment because my man's coming from loser's side of the bracket. But we got a counter pick coming out from Jen going to Smashville. Mm -hmm. We see him with the uh, Battlefield and the Lilac Band, which I assume is to keep Palutena's combo game early percents in check, although I'm not certain. And then Smashville, I assume, uh, shortest stage distance, less distance for him to get on. on uh, Three, two, one. Yeah, and that middle platform is also really strong for getting neutral air combos in the middle of the stage, as well as going for those teleport cancels. That, that's, that's Smashville's like one of her, one of her best stages. Okay, oh, jab good. reset. Hey, I like how he ended that because normally you see people go for those jab, jab blocks with like a final like a smash attack or something, but he just went for the down tilt forward air combo. Like that, that was smart. He was still in conversion percent for down tilt, so yeah. definitely he's probably lived that out, found out the best percentage on that one. Okay, traps him with an air. That's good. Working this percentage back with the stray hits, my god. All right, this is out with Falling Bear. All right, good with punish. Yo, that's gonna take the stock yeah. early. Venya's starting to level up here. The adaptation could be potentially happening. Mm -hmm. 
Not only that, although he's picked Smashville, smallest stage means that uh, if Venya does want to get in, he can get in on Palutena easier. Uh, so... Kind of running over him a little bit now. 55% goes for another down there, but challenges it with landing there. Yeah, you gotta jump over that shuriken real quick. Right. Runs up, dash attacks, has him at 88%. Trying to follow up with that up air. Oh, oh no. that's not gonna look good. Vinny is gonna take that and run it with a mile. I honestly, this is looking like a bracket reset. It just might be. But we can't count Jen out just yet, even though this is going to be a test of patience and a very, very risky one. Yeah? I think you can do it. See, he's still going for stuff like that. If you are in an afraid mentality, you don't want to go for a parry on something like that and risk getting knocked off stage. Again. But Jen is prepared to do what it takes to take these stocks, get in there, and end this thing early. He wants to get that sleep, man. Yeah. Honestly, Sam. <laughs> there we I go. Venya, yep. 140 percent. Gets the grab. Gets confirmed. Yes, right, sir. Nice. You saw him trying to jump out of that situation, but that was looking true. Mm -hmm. uh, instant reverse aerial. I'm not sure if it's a true follow-up for a kill. Oh, um, it, it's strong. It like, is very strong. Definitely getting caught on that. But here we go. Venya with two stocks left. Still, it's incredibly pretty. Unless Venya, Jen like turns up the gears or something. Yep. And you do remember, though, last game we were looking pretty similar until uh, Jen gets that spike. And Palutena does have a lot of tools similar with that, with surprising the kill power. Tries to go for the jab reset, but wrong side. Yeah, he definitely would have done the exact same thing that he did previously. Try to go for the two jabs and the down tilt. When you drag someone down like that, you get two free jabs before having to force to go for a third quick option or try to read their, like, tech roll. Right, putting on the ledge pressure. Good job with the up tilt there. That actually low profiles, which makes it very difficult to challenge. Good job wow. with the shadow sneak. No death, though. Ooh. Still he alive. the water. And he dash attacks up from a normal getup. Jen playing no fear. Yeah, just spamming those dash attacks. Here we go. Down tilt into forward air. Potential edge guard for Venia. Throws actually, out the shuriken. Yeah, he dropped out of it. That was wacky. All right. And that was a great fadeaway. You saw him jumping to avoid the grab, go for the fadeaway forward air, gets the catch, punishing the whiff grab, and takes us into the final set. True finals between Venia and Jen. Mm -hmm. We got the bracket reset going on. And looking like we're going to head over to PS2. Yep, get the hands up there. Greninja. We got Greninja coming back out. Honestly, I don't expect any sort of like character switches from these guys. Nah. To be Ven honest, Venya has been solidly uh, Greninja, and then I think Jen only has a fox that he sometimes holds on. Yeah. Yeah. I, he will not bust him out, but he does have a fox. Yes. In this set, he will not bust out fox. All right. All right. So snipes the warp with a little bit of what? All right. Hitting him with the shield, bashing him down. Okay, so right. now we're playing on a Pokemon Stadium 2, you know, a, a fair starter. Palutena is a very comfortable stage for her. Greninja, or just Benny in general, just likes the stage. So you'll see this a lot for game one between yeah, these two. Absolutely. Um, for many people here, if not almost universally, a good uh, uh, gentleman stage, a good neutral starter in most people's opinions. So. Not a bad place to start. Vendy going uh, a bit more passive here and playing the range with those water shurikens. Oh, it goes for the third up here, but nothing off of it yet. Yeah, I mean, Jen had to escape that combo by going for the double jump. Didn't want to try to play aggressive with that. Mm -hmm. You know, you got her uh, fight or flight instinct coming in. Yo, it's so wacky seeing Venya uh, space out with the shurikens here, because it's easy to forget with how fast and how disjointed uh, Greninja can be that he does have a projectile that he can zone with. Yeah. He says, you think I'm all aggressive? You think I can't play his own? Okay, it's something you got to respect eventually, you know? Sure I can. <laughs> then he tosses it. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, here we go. Yeah. Venia? All right. Coming in with the dash attack. He's incredibly hungry for these dash attacks, you know, trying to get the cross-ups on shield. And if he manages to connect it, it can lead into a free forward air afterwards. Absolutely. A very strong option at this point. And jumping only does so much when you meet Greninja in the air. Get your right. to forward air. Very strong option. All right, knocks him off stage. All right, retreating fair, okay. Oh, back air will take it. Got super close to him, so even on the startup of Hydro Pump, you could easily just knock him out of the ballpark. Mm -hmm. Jen putting his double jump there, but Venya does not pursue a juggle. Okay. Playing out mid-screen. I think too crazy right there. Does go for the whiff punish. 
So you yeah. know, a lot of Look forward airs into dash attack conversions twice in a row. Mm -hmm. Jen playing the right of range. Look at how often he's right outside of Venya's whiff range, and then he comes back in for the punish on that. Oh, good call with the up there. I want to talk about that down air for a second, because that, that that was really smart, because he recognized that Venya was trying to cross him up yet again mm -hmm. with the dash attack, so he just went for the option that covered like both sides in case he didn't go for the cross up, you know? So. Uh just yeah. smart gameplay. Absolutely. Although, even with that, it is very difficult to catch because of how low Greninja goes. But as far as tools go to catch that, that don't have the commitment, down there was a way to go. Very smart. Gets a jab reset, but he does tech. Jumping over. All right. Oh, go. I like the re let go of the grab to see what he's going to do. Or let go of the jab to see what he wants to do instead. Mm -hmm. Double jab pressure. Not too many characters have uh, plus jabs now on block, especially. But... Greninja's fast enough that he can weave him into his offense, try to bait out an option. There were some misinputs there from Jen. You saw he definitely wanted to get that teleport cancel on the platform as well as try to like let go of the uh, drop down to the platform and get a follow-up afterwards. But so Benny is gonna capitalize, get that stock. Be Takes one be one more kill away from moving on to game two. Yep, chases him down, gets a clean 33% on this fresh stock. Jen looks like he's gonna have to secure this early if he doesn't want to be too far behind, but. Palutena arguably not as great on the offense as she is on the defense. Double Shadow Sneak, okay. I feel it. All right. Dash attack, waiting to bait out an option because he doesn't have any true yes, follow to that percent. And Genji is going to mash out that dash attack just to get him off of his case. Yeah, at this point, you know, Jen, recognizing that Jen playing a little careful here, trying to reach out with her toe with the forward air. Play a little bit of a spacing game. Now, he doesn't want to commit to the neutral air just yet until he sees Venya overextend a slightly bit. But again, Venya's going to, like you said, chill back, throw out the shurikens because he's got a comfortable lead here. Mm -hmm. Go for safe cross ups like that. Just run past him with the neutral air. Yeah, but Jen with this spacing on the whip punishes there. Whip punishes the nair. Generally, oh. He fell no. out of the up smash a little bit too far away for that second swing to, uh, the second hit of that hitbox to uh, confirm. That's unfortunate because he did have an excellent read on his get up mm -hmm. there. It's there an air on the shield. Want to go for a second back air instead? All right. Comes back into the nair. Does eat the forward air. Okay. We want that down air so bad to get that spike against Venya. He does. Chases him down. Greninja's movement speed a little faster on the ground than Palutena, so he can follow if she tries to run. All right. That was a super smart call. The shield right away. Doesn't want to eat those fares. All right. We're Patience chilling. on the ledge. Ooh. That was a slick pivot grab from Venya. A little bit too high a percent, but yeah. it doesn't matter. Connects the down tilt into a forward error. Venya taking away game one of true finals. Mm -hmm. Tries to land with the Nair there to make it a little bit more safe, but Venya steps back, lets it whiff punish, gets the conversion, and follows up with the flare. Very smart and very patient. It's unusual to see him in this sort of keep away form. Normally Greninja is all about smothering, getting people to play at his pace, and then punishing for when they try to get on top of him. But... It's good to see him like that. He plays it very well. Now we're going straight back to Pokemon Stadium 2. Again, very comfortable stage for Palu. One, go. And let's get it. All right. Yo, once again, low profiles the Nair. Parries? Okay. A, lot, a double parry coming out from Jen. I mean, it's time to crank it up, man. You, you definitely don't want to be losing to Venny, especially after that call out two weeks ago. You know? Oh, like, absolutely. There's a lot going on there. So yeah, if we get him in for the interview at this point, there's going to be some serious talk. Right, here we go. 81% on Venia. Yep. Threatens the edge guard right there, but goes right back. Trades with the forward tilt. <laughs> accidentally footstool, man. Sometimes it just happens like that. Yep, and it's not too bad for either party. Just a return to neutral with Jen in the air, but Venya decides to keep to the ground and let it go back to middle straight. And you'll notice that uh, Jen's been doing a lot of forward airs in this matchup compared to like uh, other matchups that he's been playing because it's like it's like the safer option almost because like she she extends her foot, you know. Mm -hmm. Now, um, doesn't get too much off of it though, like yeah. compared to like neutral air. I was going to say, so it would seem, uh, I know uh, if you reverse bear, speaking of reverse bear, runoff bear like that, clipping while he was still on the platform, that was really tight. Good call. Um, I wouldn't actually know the difference uh, of what would make fair better for the approach, because I know bear has the invincibility, and I don't know if fair yeah. is any faster, any uh, quicker. Honestly, he probably should be going for the bear. Mm -hmm. But I uh, haven't been seeing it too often. Yeah. Although Jen. bear, if you don't have the instant reverse, is more telegraphed. Mm. There could be better for the quicker option. Catches him on the warp. Doesn't let him get away for free. 
Gregor gets back on the stage, goes for the explosive flame, forcing Venny to shield so he can try to close the distance a bit. Yep, goes for the trade there. Not a bad call at this percent. Ooh, Ooh, neutral air calls out the jump. Jen playing aggressive with that Nair. Lands with the down air right there. Coming off the platform. All right. Just barely gets in that area where the cross-up is ambiguous with the yeah. dash attack. Venya's spacing on that thing is fantastic. And once again, Venya hungry for these dash attacks because he knows if he lands that dash attack, it's going to be a free forward air into a death. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, Jen getting the platform chase there, but drops out the hits of Nair. Uh, not very often that you'll see that. Nair normally very consistent, but oh no. Goes for a hard read and does eat the punish for it. Down throw. Oh, go for the fourth throw instead. Trying to mix him up. Apply shield pressures. Jen, uh, Venya has to respect it. Back here on shield. Venya Very going safe. A little heavy over there off stage, but completely understandable. He is a stock down and he wants to try to secure this before he racks up too much extra credit. Jen with the hard read, but doesn't quite get the punish. He's trying to catch these down tilts on the ledge as well. You see Venya trying to like recover the hydro pumps. Down tilt at the ready. Gonna just throw out some auto reticle action going on. All right. Playing out the middle ground. Neither of these guys necessarily wants to take a hit that will kill, but that will kill. That's all she wrote, man. It's sitting at 125% on Venya. Another wall clean just to kind of mix up how he's going to get back to the stage. He jumps out of there before it becomes a tech chase scenario, but that does leave him open to Venya's follow ups. Jen is one dash stack away from taking home the stock. There it is. Oh, still going to be able to live in mid stage. Mm -hmm. All right. Ooh, forward forward tilt. tilt, a very strong option for calling out the get up on the ledge because it's a long lasting hitbox, so you don't have to time it as well. So as long as you just get, know that he's going to do a neutral get up on the ledge, you can easily land that. And it kills. Yes, in fact, I'm not sure if that would have covered uh, all options because I'm sure neutral get up, uh, jump, probably not attack, maybe roll. And so. dash, Palatina's dash attack is really good at calling out aggressive recoveries. You saw yes. Venny going for that forward air a second time. He actually went for it a third time, so Jen just would have kept it up. It just the dash attack just would have kept connecting, but he wanted to play safe that third time. Mm -hmm. Spacing up. Playing the middle range, Venny tossing out the fares here. There's no reason for Jen to approach at this point. He's got a hefty lead. Not only has he overlapped him, he's got he's playing extremely strong, but wait a sec. Mm -hmm. Venny trying Sends. to get this up smash. Yep. Jabs on shield. Jen says, no, thank you. He's fine setting auto reticles over the fence. Oh, actually catches the roll. Still going to be able to live. Killed. Throws right. the shuriken right back in his face. Tells him, I don't want it. Take back to your order. That he, is quite reactive. And he actually avoided the explosive flame to get in there and take that stock. Venya, one stock away from taking home the tournament. Can he clutch this out? Or is Jen going to take this to a game six situation? We will see. It's looking very close right now. And he does have him on the ledge. Grabs him. Looking uh, at more percent. Up air mix up. Yo tries to go for the hard read but doesn't pay off fully. All right. Now goes for the call out. He's been calling out Jen's retreats all set. All right. Here we go. Calling out the neutral air as well with the dash attack. Can we get a third up air? He wants it. Mm -hmm. Throws that a little bit too high in the air. Jen opting to go for the double jump instead to get back onto the stage safe and sound. You see him starting to foxtrot away from Venia. Doesn't want to get hit. Caught by the dash attack. Reads the air dodge a little bit too far away. Didn't guess where he was going to air dodge. Mm -hmm. Not that time. Going off Super Duty for the back air. Goes for the high drop instead. Jen playing cautiously. Waits for the up B for the right moment to get the warp back onto the stage. Once the dash attack so bad. Right. Connects it. 116. Back All right, throw. Grab. He's going to live. He is going to live. He's got to make it back to the ledge, though. Oh, he goes it. off Super Duty for the neutral air. Gets it. You know if anyone wanted to fly to the left. So you could easily go for the tech underneath the stage. End up flying to the right side as we enter our final game of Xeno 152 between and Jen and Venia. And can we just talk about, like you said there, watch closely here. When he drops down with the Nair, he tries to make it ambiguous as to which direction he goes in and mm. sends him over to the right. Yeah. If he sends him back like there, although the percent may not have been high enough, gives him a chance to tech. Don't give him that chance. Set him off on the side. He's gone. That was clutch coming back from Jen, especially because he wild. had not gone for those aggressive upstage options all throughout the set. Here we go, the final game, PS2. Honestly, the, the entire tournament between these two <laughs> between these two competitors is probably just going to be taking place on this stage. You saw Jen counterpick Smashville previously, but definitely feeling a lot more comfortable on PS2. Yep, it would seem so. PS2, the longest stage here. Uh, both of them benefiting from it for the combos. Um, 
And like we said, very uh, neutral oriented stage. A lot of people yeah. like the gentlemen to this Gen for good reasons. Palatin also gets that warp cancel That's off of the true. warps. It's very strong on the platform, so mm -hmm. never forget him. Yep. Oh, falling fair, auto cancel to fair once again. Good conversion on there. Palatina, as she racks up percent, not exactly the best of getting a combo going, but you can pick up there. There we go. Right. Just lands with the Nair, tries to make it a bit safer, gets the reground, and challenges the tech. Smart stuff going out from Venium. Anyway, just fading away with those back ears, trying to apply pressure with the shield. Run directly into the shield and then jumps out with Nair to get out of the situation. Oh, good cool. parry and good punish. A strong parry for Jen. Trying to get the follow-up afterwards. Vintage is going down with a landing forward air. Yep. All right. That could be a potential kill. That yes, sir. It. Hydro Pump messing up Jen's recovery to get back onto the stage. Going for the down air, or not down air, down smash. Right on recovery, takes advantage of the invincibility, seeing if he can get a cheeky kill over on Venya. All right. Chases him down, very nice. Again, another explosive flame. Not enough, Venya not quick enough to get the punish on it. Mm -mm, not quite. He, it's very difficult when you're in the moment to see the spacing and say, uh, I don't have to shield this. It's quite a ballsy thing to do, and at yep. this percent, that probably would have taken it. So. Jen easily could easily take this back. All he needs is like one grab, one neutral air. Dash he is attack. At the ledge. There that it is. Do it. Very. That, that was a little greedy on Venia's part. You know he was definitely looking for that shield grab the second he ran in on the edge of the stage. Whenever you see anyone that can kill the back door, whether it be Palutena, Ness, and Cinderwar, you know, like they, they're hanging on the edge of the stage like that. They are definitely looking for a shield grab. So the fact that he ran in there with the dash attack, very sloppy. Maybe trying to go for a conversion to take an earlier stock, but it is sort of a greedy option, and he will pay the price for it, unfortunately. And now it's looking about evened up in the percent. Yo, calls him with the rollback with a jump back fair. What a call. I like Venia hesitating before going for that Hydro Pump, going all the way down to the bottom to avoid the neutral air follow-up from Jen. You saw him jumping off like that. Down throw. All right, no follow-ups there. Jumping out of Venya's pressure, taking back center stage. All right, sort of playing out the space right now. Jen not committing to a lot of moves. He's just sort of watching Venya's play. Puts out the fair, but gets beat up by Venya's own. Ooh, oh, that smash. is a hard punish. Again, trying to go for the hard call that we would have caught uh, ledge jump as well. How did he get through him right there? He just uh, went through that man for the pivot grab. Yes, sir, man. I mean, it, honestly, just run that past him. Sometimes it'll happen like that. Here we go, 103%. Okay, threatens the up air right there, hoping to bait out an option for a more guaranteed kill, but doesn't find it. Dash attack again, calling nice. out the neutral air. Yo, good spacing right there. Yeah. <laughs> again, it's the oh! spike on the two frame on the ledge. Get up, Venia, one stock left. Final stock of Xeno 152 for him. Mm -hmm. These men are ticking down the clock. Just one down tilt away, one dash attack, or a neutral air. Good parry. Yo, goes for the F-Tilt. That was a bit of a greedy parry punish for the damage. And that was fantastic DI from Jen to avoid the follow-up from the dash attack. You saw him flying to the left after that confirm. All right. Very good patient play from both players here. Jen just trying to get a little bit of extra percent. We'll find there it in the fastball. Tech chases. Gets him with the up air. Oh, my God. He's out of jumps. I'm getting flashbacks. I'm yeah. getting hard flashbacks to two weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, honestly, he's going in. Down throw. Take over the back air, falls a little bit too far away for that to connect because it goes for the follow up instead. Yo, Venya is struggling. 91%. Yo, goes for the forward smash. He's feeling himself hard. All right. See, so Venya needs this kill right here, right now. This is it. Up smash. All right. There it is. One stock apiece. Jen spawning in. 0%. Gets the grab. Forward throw. Tries to. Oh, I like that mix up. Try to go for the explosive flame to keep him on his toes. Mm -hmm. Safe on shield. Back air is coming out. Venya not going for the punish because it's super unsafe. All right. Neutral Lands air. with Nair there. Let's get away with it. Yeah. Chases him down. So Jen now turning it back around to where he was the one getting chased by Venya, now being the one doing the chasing. And Jen doing a great job just being able to catch those dash attack cross-ups, running and gets the dash attack right after himself. It's a smack him with the shield. 139%. Explosive flame got a shield coming out for Venya to be able to survive That's it. it. Doesn't sur survive that one. Gets caught by the small explosive flame. Jen taking home Xeno 152. <laughs> A little bit of a taunt there. Uh, too bad for you. <laughs> but yeah, you got you got Jen once again. You know, wasn't here last week, but it was you know 150. He won mm -hmm. against Venia. This time around, he beats Venia again. Unfortunate for you know your boy a Deadly Lands Venia going down with a second place finish again. But Jen coming back on top. Exactly. A very